welcome to fabulous Natick Center, home of the piss bucket. Markers here along some of the trees. This is a new thing, they just put these in. There's another one. Honey locust. Huh. Never heard of it. Ada Quilp's putting all kinds of memorials and placards and stuff everywhere. That movie was filmed here, they propped it up like a bakery. This is the Park Street Ice Cream. I don't remember the name of the movie though, I'll look that up. See this light here? Ah shit, it's hard to see it. Uh, uh, Schultz threw rocks at it and broke it. It was like three years ago, four years ago, he never fixed it. That is smashed in. You don't even see it. Apparently, the light still goes on, so they leave it as is. Here's the other bakery, so called Bakery on the Common. It's on the corner of that street there. That was propped up for the movie. Part of the movie was filmed over there. This place has been vacant for a long time. Uh, for the longest time, this was uh, called Town Paint. It was there for a long time, and then it was Hometown Hardware. They didn't do very well. And ever since then, it's been vacant. I thought somebody would have leased it by now, but no. And here we have the Crack Shack. They found a new sucker to move in there. Glenda rip off. Oh, that's a nice set there. Boom Young Do School of uh, Martial Arts, this place is a cult. It's a scam job. They take all your money, they don't teach you anything. Grandmaster Ian Kim style. You should look this up on the internet.
place used to be an army fort many years ago and uh, it was abandoned for many years now it turned into uh, condominiums it's all renovated inside but they, they kept the front of the building as is and I don't recall how much it is to buy one of the condominiums in there but I'm sure it's very expensive when I was growing up, they used to have flea markets inside there on the weekends. And also, at 11, 12, 13 years old, there used to be uh, a time of bike riding. There was a certain Boy Scout troop that uh, this group got together and uh, made a little club under the Boy Scouts uh, uh, thing, and you had a membership card that you could get. And they had a quarter pipe in there. Kids used to go up the quarter pipe and do tricks. And they used to do a, a jam circle where they take turns doing tricks and stuff. That was really cool. There's nothing around here like that anymore. But anyways, the fort still looks cool. I wonder how much those places are. I don't know. Importing the files from this is very slow. I'm testing out this new this new camera. <coughs> so the, the deal with this thing is that it has uh, stereo condenser microphones and this thing can swivel forward uh, swivel 180 degrees forward and backward. So test cam USB connected and uh, this picture is not going to be very good but DC input here test cam speaker on off hold oh, that looks clearer DC input so knob to adjust the input, line out or headphones, mic or line in, menu, there's a zoom, there's a digital zoom, <coughs> works very slow and jerky, Cord play, stop, it's sort of a joystick control <coughs> for the menus, and you have HDMI, USB, and a micro SD card slot there. This is a model Tascam DR-V1HD. Got this on a musician's friend's stupid deal of the day. It was a very good price, so I figured I'd give it a shot. You can see the, the microphone is really the uh, grounding jewel of the device. So if you're recording a band, this should do a very good job with the audio. The uh, gain level for the microphones is adjustable. So that's important if you're in a loud environment, you can turn the gain down. If you're in a quiet environment, you can turn the gain up. So you have a PCM HD, that's 720p HD. HDMI for direct connect to a monitor or a TV. And the audio goes up to 24-bit 96 kilohertz, which is your standard professional grade audio recording format but if you're recording video and audio at the same time <coughs> you can use 16-bit and your selection of anything in the range in the kilohertz whether it's 44 1 48 96 but if you're recording video and audio at the same time in 24-bit you cannot use the 96 kilohertz only you have a choice of either 44.1 or 48 kilohertz Lens and microphone rotate 180 degrees. High quality cardioid stereo microphones, dedicated rotary knob for adjusting record level. Why the hell isn't this clear? Okay, here we go. It's slow, but it works. 
variable speed playback without changing pitch that's kind of cool video audio photo modes of course 1280 by 720 pixel HD mode oh, come on sorry this is out of focus this whole camera is slow 2.4 inch TFT color LCD mini HDMI connector 1 to 4 times digital zoom which is not as good as optical zoom but this one seems to be kind of okay-ish but it's slow and jerky movement it's not a smooth zoom motion and it's not a really adjustable speed of slow and jerky it's these takes still images photo why is this out of focus again photo mode has slideshow of still pictures up to 24 bit 96 kilohertz linear PCA recording <coughs> Of course, the micro SD or micro SDHC card, auto gain control and limiter. I'll have to try that feature next time. External mic line input. Uh, let's see, the mic external mic that I have is a stereo mic, but the top range is uh, uh, it's not very good. This one's better. Uh, let's see headphones low cut filter so you can cut out any boominess you have a selection of I think it's a uh, was it 60 AD and 120 yeah. built-in monitor speaker I tried that and uh, the speaker isn't very loud you have to hold it up to your ear to hear it selectable playback area all folder or playlist auto shut off you can set the timing for when it automatically shuts off like five minutes or something to save the battery USB 2.0 connection as we just saw the transfer speed isn't very fast there perhaps the speed would be improved if I uh, put in a micro SDHC card instead of the standard micro SD card uh, powered by AA batteries or optional AC adapter and tripod mount so there's your standard mount on the bottom your standard tripod, tripod mount on the bottom so that would be very good to have if you're recording a band you just set it up and uh, it's good to go anyways this, this is finished by now let's see what we got this, this thing freezes up as you can see I, I unplugged the USB I unplugged this USB cable and this happened before uh, in a situation when it didn't have anything to do with the USB cable, but I'm supposed to hold down this button to turn it off. It doesn't turn off. So you have to take the batteries out. take out the batteries to turn it off sometimes pain in the ass Hold this button down again and turn it off.